What's up guys, Starling Nova here, and as you know, last week, Paris Games Week happened and Sony showed off a slew of trailers of both videos or videos of games that we've seen before, like Last of Us 2, Spider-Man, as well as titles that we may not have heard of like Wacamelee 2. But one title that they showed that not too many people are talking about, but I think needs to, you know, get a little more recognition is Shadow of Colossus, the re remaster or remake of Shadow of the Colossus. Now I should start off saying that the PS2 original was a technical showpiece for its time. When it came out in 2005, it was pushing the graphical hardware limits to the PS2, to the point that it was even dropping down from, you know, 15 frames as low as it would go. But the game itself still holds up well to this day, to graphically at least. And I feel that with the Shadow of the Colossus remake that's coming out sometime early next year, it's going to be going under a lot of people's radar because they're going to deem it as a simple remaster. But if you've seen from the footage that you've seen, it's not. It's not your typical remaster. They've redone the textures, all the graphics. I mean, Agro the horse looks <laughs> really great. Seeing the foliage move and all that stuff, it's really something you'd have to see. If you just look at it from the... If you just look at the footage just seeing it, you're going to think like, oh, it doesn't look that much different from the PS2. It's like, oh, do this, go back and see some footage of the PS2 copy and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's still a great, uh, great game, still graphically on the PS2, but this is definitely a revamp in terms of graphic quality. And it looks amazing. And the thing about th this, why this is so important, why this release is so important, I feel, is that... This is the game that put Eco on the map, the Eco team. Even though Eco, I mean, they originally re released Eco was their first title. I feel that just, I still feel to myself that Shadow of the Colossus was what got everybody hyped towards The Last Guardian. I mean, this was the title that got everybody so excited for that release for years, waiting years since what was it when they first showed footage of Last Guardian in 2007? <laughs> Pretty crazy. But yeah, that was the title that got me into realizing the eco team and I went back to play the title uh, the fir their first title eco after that but it was shadow of the colossus that really got me into it the storytelling i mean it's it's very atmospheric the story is just it's emotional if you've played any of you that played the last guardian would know team eco knows how to do a really good story without saying much and that's what this Shadow of the Colossus does really well. There's not so much combat as it is in just taking down these giants, and it's like a puzzle in itself. And taking down each of the 15 or 16 colossi that you encounter is by far one of the main objectives you do in this game, and it's one of the funnest parts. And combine that with the atmospheric isolation you have with just you and your horse and these giant beasts in this enormous world, artistic world and it's just it really grabs you into this and really pulls you in i mean i could go on and on gushing about this title but the point is if you enjoyed the original shadow of the colossus and you also enjoyed the last guardian that came out last year don't pass up on this title when out of the flood of remasters and remakes that we've been getting a lot recently of this is one to look out for those are just my thoughts on the matter but what do you guys think is Shadow of the Colossus a game you're looking forward to on the PS4 next year? Were you a fan of The Last Guardian last year? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Summer in the hills Those hazy days I do remember We were running still Had the whole world at our feet Watching seasons change Our roads were